Hey there. It's February 11th here, and I have a couple other videos where I talk about what can you plant in March or April or May, and I realized I didn't have one for February, and it's high time for planting. So here we are at our home farm for Cisco Seeds, and first of all, when I think of February 1st is typically when I first think about planting onions and leeks. So with that said, um, that think, makes me think of the other root crops. So I'm planting onions. Uh, I'm also planting leeks. You know, so they're grown very similarly. All right. Here we are, it's February 9th. It's time to plant onions and leeks. So first of all, I'm gonna be planting these Valencia onions. They're a sweet Spanish type, hence the name Valencia from Valencia, Spain. And the way I do this is planting in these open wooden trays. This is how we do onions. Uh, they're just made out of scrap wood, like little gaps in the slats underneath them. And my potting soil recipe is available in a different video. Uh, it's basically 10 shovelfuls of really nice, uh, well-aged compost, some eggshells, and one shovelful of sand for every 10 shovelfuls of compost. So uh, I have a label that I've made. I just get these popsicle sticks like that. And then I'll use just a piece of wood like this, or you can use your finger like this and just make little furrows. This is, I've been doing onions this way for about 25 years. Works well for leeks too. And it grows really nice transplants. So, onions are a day uh, length sensitive crop. So starting them early allows them to do a lot of their vegetative growth in these early spring days. And then the bulbing once it warms up uh, and the days begin to get shorter after the summer solstice, and then we're typically harvesting around August 1st. Depending on your latitude, you might do it slightly different. There's some onions that you can overwinter if you're in a warmer area. We're in zone seven here, so this is how we do it. So here's my packet. I've made a little crease in the front of it, and what that does is as I tap it, you can see perhaps that it allows the seed just to line up, and I get a little uh, more accurate ability to control the flow of seeds. So I am just looking to get maybe 10 seeds per inch in here and then we'll let them grow until for about two months and then sometime in April we'll just kind of scoop in here. There'll be nice uh, transplants that are about half the diameter of a pencil and we'll transplant them in the field. So see how fast that was and then I just cover up my little furrows I've done onions and leeks in plug trays or six packs. This is a much better way to do it. And you can see so much faster. Like I just planted 800 or a thousand plants. So there's that one. I'll do another one just cause we're in the flow of it all. If you want to be super specific, you can get into your, your wood and you can get more plants in here. If you plant the seed too close, I've learned that the seedlings don't achieve a good size and having nice, strong uh, transplants is the name of the game to have really nice onions. And these sweet Spanish types, they're not a keeper. They're, uh, they're not as spicy. The spiciness in onions come from sulfur, uh, but they can get up to two pounds. Nice, big size. So in terms of using in the summer and fall, they're great, but they're not gonna store much past December or January. So I'm growing these ones to produce for seed, which I'll include a link here, but that's onions are biennial, so they take two years or about a year and a half to go to seed. So we're just looking to grow the bulbs right now as year one. It feels so nice to be out here in the sun. 
hearing the sound of the animals or sheep or lambing and it's everything's just waking up this is just a heavenly time of the year so got two flats of onions still got to label that one but that's it I'm also planting radishes. I would not plant those in the greenhouse. I would direct seed those, but also beets and carrots. So most of our root vegetables will direct seed right in the ground, uh, whereas other ones will grow as starts, like the onions and leeks. A really big category of early planted crops that's cold uh, tolerant is the brassicas. So that describes a plant family. And in that we have arugula, broccoli. So I'm gonna grow all these as starts in the greenhouse. Cabbage, and then later transplant them out. Cauliflower, collards, kale, all the mustards, both the mild mustard, mustards, which are Brassica rapa, and the spicy mustards, which are Brassica juncia. And lastly, but not least, Chinese cabbage, if we're quick growing food. So another category of which the, really the Brassicas do fall in this is the greens. I just call them greens. So uh, that would be things like mescaline mix, uh, spinach, Spinach, you can either grow as transplants or direct seed. We do both. All the lettuces, again, you can direct seed or transplant. Uh, I do my cutting mix spinach, uh, lettuces as a direct seed crop, whereas if I want to grow a head, I'll grow it as a greenhouse as a transplant. Swiss chard and celery. So another uh, category that you can plant right now is all of these fruiting vegetables like peas and fava beans. So here I have sugar and snap peas. We typically direct seed these. You can grow them as starts, but they're good to transplant. Um, chickpeas, even though some people call them garbanzo beans, they're better grown if you think of them as peas. So plant them now. They like the cool weather. And then fava beans is another one while we may call them a bean, they thrive in the cooler weather of spring. And then there's kind of a, a number of herbs and other things that we could be planting right now. And so I'll just run through a couple of the notables. Cilantro, it grows a start or a transplant. Chives are perennial, but you could get them started now for establishing a nice bed of chives for yourself. Dill, uh, another very cold tolerant. Poppies. You can direct seed these or transplant them. Uh, when I grow them as a transplant, I grow them in these uh, soil blocks and that helps me transplant. Today we're planting amazing gray Shirley poppies. What's the date? Today is February 9th, 2022. So poppies are something you can start in February in your greenhouse. Then we're planting into soil blocks here. There'll be a link in the video here to how to make soil blocks if you're interested in that. We found it's a really good way to grow poppies. Parsley, you can start now, and uh, bulbing fennel. We grow starts for that. And last, calendula as an early flower that we can get going right now. So that just kind of gives you an idea of the cool loving crops that we could be doing in February. Here in Western Oregon, you can see I'm wearing a t-shirt, sun's going down, it's gonna get cold tonight. We have a bit of a false spring here um, and we could get snow through the, the rest of the month and into March. So having a greenhouse or a cold frame or something is really helpful to get your starts going early. So I hope perhaps you learned something there that can help you thrive, have your garden thrive, and then you thrive. Cool. Thanks. <laughs>